and whose ridiculous idea <laughs> was it to bring a tree into your home and decorate it? What good does that do anyone? You can't eat it and it won't keep you warm. Unless you burn it, of course. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> You. No good will come of it once you start encouraging these children. Who knows where it will stop? How will the mills and factories make a profit without the boys to clean the machines? What about our coal mines? For a few pence a day, you can get a small boy to work 12 hours in those little tunnels. You could never get a man as cheap. And how would you get your chimney clean without a climbing boy? Why, many a five-year-old gets a roof over his head and a crust in his mouth by working for a chimney sweep. They should be grateful. <laughs> change? There's only one good kind of change. And that's the kind that rattles in your pocket. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten. <laughs> I haven't heard that story since I was a young boy. Oh, what a fool I am. I've just been too interested in my business and making money that I've forgotten what it's for. Here, Dr. Bernardo, have a shilling for your home. In fact, have a pound. No, have ten pounds. I'm off to buy a goose and invite all my neighbours to share it. Come on everyone, join my celebration and have a Merry Christmas. One of you, I... <laughs>